National Park Nighthawk Men's Basketball is on the Nighthawk Network. Your official home of Nighthawk Athletics this season. Our featured men's basketball player of the week this week, Mr. Demarcus Johnson. DJ, welcome back to Nighthawk Nation. We got to see what you were capable of in year number one. What was it that made you want to come back for another year here in Nighthawk Nation? Um, the vengeance. We had a plan on our mind to uh, come back and try to set a banner in, his, uh, in, uh, in the kettle. Uh, that's pretty much it. I know that postseason loss was something that resonated with you, with Coach Hargrove, with this entire team all the way through the offseason. It was the motivation and the driving force coming into this year. And, and coming into this year, what were some of the personal goals that maybe you set for yourself to try to change that, to, to go farther than this team has ever gone before? Uh, for myself, just putting in work every day, trying to uh... – get back in a better basketball shape, losing weight, and uh, just becoming a better defensive player, uh, being smart on defense, really. We can see that drive, that hunger, not only with yourself, with your teammates. Everybody is in the gym at all times. They're working out, they're running sprints, they're doing exercises, anything they can do to train their body, train their mind to get ready for game day. And we've seen the strength of this program this year. A lot of people are calling it the strongest men's basketball team we've ever had. I have to agree there. The things that you guys are accomplishing, you're beating opponents that we've never beaten before. You're improving uh, significantly. We're breaking records. Um, everybody top to bottom is playing their part. And it's coming out with a very awesome end result. You're halfway through the conference season and National Park College is right in the discussion for a Region 2 championship this year. But you've lived it. You've worked through it. What is it behind the scenes that really makes this team so good? Um, really, everybody comes from a different background. We all, we're all we all motivated to get somewhere after this. And we all compete with each other every day, whether it's on the court or, at, uh, on the court or off the court. We just love to compete with each other. Now, DJ, I know this year we haven't seen number 24 on the court that much dealing with injury, and it's unfortunately something that you're, you're, you're kind of used to in your basketball yeah. career. You've had to overcome these hurdles and this adversity multiple times throughout your career, but we, we wish you the best of luck in your recovery. Hope to see you on the court soon. And even though that you haven't been on the court, playing with these guys. Tell me some of the ways that you still stepped up as a leader and tried to help guide them as we get into a very crucial point of the season. Um, in the games, just pushing them, trying to cheer them on, trying to stay, uh, keep them confident and stuff. Um, in practice, trying to point out some things, uh, maybe just little things like getting somewhere, finding a soft spot in the zone or being somewhere for a pass or just telling them a good shot, simple as that. Um, pretty much it. That's pretty much it right there. It's February. It's crunch time. You've got five games left to go. SAU Tech on the road. ASU Mid-South at home. And you've got five games in 10 days to close out the regular season. What has Coach Hargrove been working on with this team in order to, to come up where, where every game is a must-win game? How does this team plan on getting it done each and every night? Being mentally locked in. Um just trying to prepare, just going over the game plan each and every day, uh, coming to the gym, focus before practice as well as during practice. Let's talk about ASU Mid-South. This is a team that goes on the road, and it was a heartbreaker on the road there, a, a tough one, almost had it, just got away. And in the time since that game, what has this team been working on to really right the ship? You're going to get them at home on Saturday. How does this team come away with a big win over a very good Mid-South team? Um, being, I, I would say being more aggressive with uh, rebounds because they are a big, they're a lot bigger team than us. They have about three, three good bigs. Um, just being more tenacious and being more aggressive with them. DJ, we've loved seeing you grow and lead and teach with this Nighthawk program. Over the past two seasons, we feel like the best is yet to come for Nighthawk men's basketball this year. Congratulations on the honor this week. And is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Um, I would like to say hello to my mother, my sisters. Of course, my grandmother, she, always, she watches every game. Uh, and I'd like to thank 
my past coaches and my AAU teammates' parents, who was always taking me to games and stuff when I when my mother couldn't. Um, just thank everybody in my family too, because they've always supported me and always they've always loved me. It's been a great journey, hasn't it? Yeah. Demarcus Johnson of the National Park Nighthawk men's basketball team. More on this week's games coming up next. This is National Park Nighthawk men's basketball on the Nighthawk Network.